value men want children and real men are gonna love children as their own, even if it's not their own. How you have a kid, but you can't accept a man with kids. When I meet a masculine man, I'll be a feminine woman. No, you won't. I wanna talk about why men of this generation are scared of women. And it's set actual standards for themselves. They don't like red pill content at all. A woman in Korea. Out there, risen. Hey guys, welcome back to More to Life. Before I get into this video, I ask that you like, comment, also subscribe, hit that notification bell just to be sure you get all my videos as soon as I release them. Also, guys. I say this around like around 60% of you people that are not subscribed. So if you like the video at the end of the video, please be sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe just to show me some love. Let me get right into it. This is why real high value men will go after single moms. Don't fight me on this because I'm a living proof. Not in my own life, but somebody that I know. A high value man knows his value and his worth and what he brings to a woman. There's gonna be no child that is gonna interfere with that. High value men want children and real men are gonna love children as their own, even if it's not their own. It's delusional. So you having a child is now an addition to their entire family that either they were seeking, that they wanted, or they were looking to create in the future. Now you have a child, part of my family, and we're all a family. That's what a real high value man is. Who's gonna tell her? So if you ever hear a guy saying like, oh, you have a child or, Oh, I don't want nothing to do with that. That means one, they're not gonna love your child and they're just looking at you as a piece of meat, not as their family. And number two, they probably don't have the means to take care of your child because they're broke bums and we don't want those men anyway. I mind you, I'm talking like I'm a single mom, but I know a lot of single mothers. And it doesn't always happen because you're irresponsible. It can literally happen, get married, Husband dies, now you're a single mother. Single widow, like whatever. But real true high value men are gonna be seeking or not avoiding someone because they're a mother. <laughs> Why are you attacking single moms? Single moms are heroes. They do the work of a man and a woman all by themselves. They chose that life. And for all you out there who always say, oh, well, what if the man left? The man rarely leaves, dummy. Look it up. It's been documented, well documented. It's the women who leave. I think the real issue is that when people are dating and they're young, they're like, oh, I don't want to have a child and hang out with you at the same time. It's because they're children and they're not high value men. They're boys. Do not be date these boys. You need to date men. They already made their choice and now they've got to live with that choice and they need to get with one man and one man only, the baby's father. You're not a stepdad, so you shouldn't date him. See, she's young. She's basing this, probably based off she's seen her mother or her auntie get lucky. That's what she's seen. She saw a woman get lucky and didn't realize it's, it's, a, it's a high hit or miss. Like, guys aren't lining up saying, like she said, I want a woman that has someone because I want to start a family. Oh, I already have a family. No, nobody wants to add on addition to their family. No man wants to add on an extra bill. It's an expense. I don't know where these women get this from. They think this guy's sitting around going, okay, that woman right there. Oh, yeah, I see she's taking care of business. Oh, she looks so sexy. She's taking care of business just like the way I like it. I want to take care of a kid. <laughs> Wasn't me. This doesn't make sense. Any of y'all know any guys signing up for that? Maybe one or two, but they're not lining up. Yes, I do have a child. And I don't care. I prefer to not date. I feel like some of y'all females be so god delusional. It's sad. How you have a kid, but you can't accept a man with kids? How you want a man to make six figures and you barely making 30000 a year? The delusions. It's like make it make sense. Who told y'all that baby daddies is for women 25 and under to watch their kids and all this? Who told y'all that? 
Because if you deal with a man with no kids and he accept you and your kids and you have to go to work or something like that, and y'all living together, wouldn't he be watching your kid or kids to help you out? Y'all don't want to deal with certain shit when it come to men, but y'all want men to deal with certain shit when it come to y'all. Y'all got to get out of this delusional ass world. Y'all don't play fair, and that's why y'all get treated the way y'all do. Well, I got to say this, because this is facts. A lot of women that talk like that are living in hopes and dreams and hypotheticals. And they live their whole life that way. Like, for the majority of women, and you know what they say? Got to shoot for the stars. Because not a lot of women are getting that. You'll find one or two. And what do these women have in common? They're willing to give, right? Not only just give, they're willing to stay fit, feminine, and friendly. And they won't tell you that, right? And they will, they'll come across like they're not doing that to stay all good with the sisterhood. But real women are real women. They're giving. They're not just taking. That's the only way to keep it a man. And if someone is just taking, that man's a sucker. It does happen. There's more and more suckers coming every day. But do you know how hard it is to get a sucker? Guys are wising it up. I'll be feminine when I meet a masculine man. No, just be feminine. You see what I'm saying? We need to move away from the narrative that when I meet a masculine man, I'll be a feminine woman. No, you won't. Because you don't know how to be that person. Learn to be a feminine woman in your own womanhood without an outside force, without nothing. Just be a woman in yourself, not contingent on I meet this guy. So now I know how to be a woman. I promise you, when you walk in your woman energy and your femininity, the right man comes to you because he's attracted to that energy. He's not waiting on that. And I think that's the part. I always have a problem with this conversation. And the thing is, it doesn't happen overnight like that. Work that way because you're thinking when I meet the right guy, right? I'm going to be that person. But if you just build in that all the time, do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, Th then you know how to be that person because what ends up happening to those women, right? They meet that masculine man. And then they start to be with them, but they're triggered because they don't have the skill to be feminine. So something that's just a boundary, something that you could have easily had a conversation and say, you know what? I really don't care for that. And I would appreciate if you just didn't do it that way. They like, <laughs> because they don't have a skill. Do you see what I'm saying? That's usually what happens. They collide, they go back and forth with the man and they compete with them because they're masculine themselves and men don't want that. And they don't realize what turns it off. It's those little reactions, those little slight comments that shows masculinity men don't like. And, it turn, and they turn the other cheek and go along because a man that's a man's man is not going to argue with you. Messenger, I'm going to explain to you why, but men do not like good girls. So for the purpose of this video, when I say good girl, I'm referring to a girl who just stays out of the mix, minds her business, goes to work, goes to school, doesn't really post too much on Instagram or TikTok, doesn't really want attention from strangers, isn't promiscuous, doesn't really show off her body and so on and so forth, right? And you would think that that is what a man would want, but the reality of the situation is that's the opposite of what most of them want. Why though? Why don't they like good girls? Here's a little bit of context. These days, men are not saying they want a good right they say they want a bad and they use the word bad to explain a woman who is hot or sexy or promiscuous because it refers to the things that she's gonna do in bed which are naughty which are bad right so that's one of the reasons why they don't like good girls is because they think that when you are bad you are going to be better in bed that's a who's that it's maybe it's the men you're talking to the men you're dealing with right now if for the most part, most men want good women. Now, all of women who base who have the same th thought process in their minds, they will base it off of one thing: the men that they're chasing, the men that they truly want. Because the men that they want is the same man. That's that's it at the end of the day. It's the same guy who. A lot of times has his cake and eats it too, and they're all chasing him and wondering why they want this certain woman. 
because they feel that way in their head. They tell themselves that. That's not what men want at all. But let me let her finish. Second is most men these days are not on the hunt for a woman who's going to be a good mother to their children. Most men these days are quick to knock up any woman and let her have his kids without stopping to think, is she going to be a good mother? So that's one of the other reasons why they're not on the Why would a man knock up any woman before he thinks she's going to be a good mother? She's talking about boys. See, this woman here who's grown enough to understand the difference between a man and a boy is talking about boys. Doesn't matter the age. Because real men are thinking about all of these things. Who is going to be the mother to my kid? First thing on his mind. But I'm going to skip past this because this is about four, four more minutes of nonsense that I don't want to hear. And I don't think you do too. Okay, so I want to talk about why men of this generation are scared of women. And I think it has to do with a bunch of reasons and I'm going to go into it. Are we blind? But number one, dating apps has made it. Man, she's really trying to shake them things. She's like, me too. Well, one reason. Let me run it back for y'all. Look, look, look at her. Okay, so I want to talk about why men of this generation are scared of women. And I think it has to do with a bunch of reasons and I'm going to go into it. But Bugger. number one, dating apps has made it so that men do not have to risk anything to go on a date with women. Back in the day, you used to have to at least go to a bar and risk rejection in front of your friends or embarrassment or any sort of thing like that. Now it's just guaranteed men can go on an app and just swipe. And if you match with them, they know that you at least have interest in them. So there's literally no risk. Second, I think that people having phones and girls always recording things definitely scares men because they always think that like a girl is going to record them and call them a creep. Men are so terrified of being called creeps. I think it's like one of the things that they fear the most. They never want to be that creepy guy. And now in this generation, everything's recorded and put on TikTok. Creepier and creepier dudes will start thinking of her. So they're scared about that. And the third reason I think men are scared of women is because they just don't have motivation due to pornography and things like that to even go on dates. And they're so scared of being like, called a creep or getting like accused of something that it's easier for them to just say inside i'm not saying this is an excuse and men you need to get out there and get over this <laughs> you can't make this but i'm just explaining why i feel like men truly are scared of women in this generation no but what you said at first is true men are scared of being recorded men are scared of being told off men are scared of me too and why has it gotten so bad? Ask yourself that. These same women, right, saying this, have the same talking points. They're saying the same things. Why has it gotten so bad? Why aren't guys talking anymore? There's a reason why. And look in the mirror, and that's your answer. Where are all the women who lost their male partners to red pill content? Front and center, please. Because I want to know what happened. I want to know how he started off when y'all got together and how red pill content changed him and how the partnership ended. What did that look like? And I also want to know how did it feel to lose somebody you thought you knew to something as trivial and shallow as red pill content? It's not shallow. Think about, think about this. Think about all the women who gained their partners because of male red pill content. Think about that. Because I can tell you, a lot of those women are inside of the country, but have their stuff together, or are outside of the country and have their stuff together. Well, not even just their stuff together, their mental together. Because that's what a man is looking for. A man wants substance. He wants something he can be with for a long term and something he can have, uh, and someone he can have kids with. That's what a man looks for. He's not just looking to pit a seat or anything like the last woman said. Right? A man is looking for someone he can be with long term, someone that thinks logically and that's ready to work with him and get on his program. And is a man saying that a lot of times with a lot of women? No. Yes, because it's a hard process. A man really has to select. And red pill content shows a man what to look for. Do I agree with it? No, I don't agree with red pill. Well, I'm not red pill myself. I believe a lot of those ideologies. But I'm not red pill. And I, I think a lot of men, other men feel the same way. But she has more. Oh, there's more. You know, whenever I consider the damage same that girl. this male-centered society has created for men, I begin to really pity y'all. Because y'all are so f***ed. 
and don't even realize it. Imagine being raised as a man in this society that was created by men, where men have set the precedent that to be a man is to never show emotion. Never uh, let me pause really quickly. This is what it says. This is right here. They're mad because men are now having standards and, and being secure with themselves and now holding themselves and others around them to a higher standard and calling out the lack of accountability. That's what it is. That's exactly what it is. And then she responds this. Never be one with your emotions, to never deal with or face or figure out or discover what your emotions are and that you're supposed to just provide and provide and provide and that's it. And while yes, men overall benefit from this kind of society that they've created, this is one of the downfalls that y'all experience. And I don't think y'all fully understand how much of a drawback it is for y'all. Because y'all are so out of touch with your emotions and who you really are that you think red pill content is an example of self-confidence and self-love and self-value. Y'all really think that red pill content, which is just misogyny one-on-one, is teaching you how to love yourself. Who is that girl? And that's really sad. I hate to break it to you. Well, let them in and figure it out. Because it's all over the place. You see men going back and forth, having debates about red pill content. But I think men who have a higher purpose, and not just a higher purpose with God, meaning a man that looks for a way out and says, okay, I can deal with women, but on these stakes, I can deal with women that are like this. Like, would you not date women? No, of course. So... It's not dating women like you. And that's what you probably don't like about it. Because that's what Red Bull Competent teaches. Don't date a woman like you. I got to call a spade a spade who's out of shape, masculine, and not agreeable. That's why a woman like you wouldn't like it. I tell you, but the men who value themselves, who love themselves, who set actual standards for themselves, they don't like red pill content at all. Because the issue with red pill content is that it's not just devoid of women's humanity, it's devoid of y'all's humanity too. And y'all aren't picking up on that. And the men who value themselves in their entirety and see their own humanity see the flaw in red pill content. And the fact that so many of y'all don't see that flaw is so concerning. But hey, what do I know? After all, I'm just a girl. Yes, you are just a girl. And you couldn't even fathom how many men have been saved mentally, right? Do you know in the beginning of 2025 in January, there were so many men who wrapped it up. The people that wrapped it up for mental reasons, 75% of them were men. You think those men aren't being helped by things like Red Bull content or hearing men being positive in certain spaces? Yes, I think it's helping guys. A lot of guys need it, and I think it should continue for that reason. Because a lot of guys, it keeps them from wrapping it up. But what do I know, right? I'm just a man. <laughs> so these brothers out here picking a woman in Korea. Out there, risen. Okay. Okay. So this right here, right? I'm seeing stuff like this. A lot of you guys have noticed. Remember all of that 4B con movement content? That was going around. Oh, them women with the 4B. And yes, I believe in the 4B. And guys can't go out there and get any love. All dead. That conversation has been dead for a long time. If anyone is still making videos about that, they got to be kind of slow. Like, you, you got to think about all the people that had the door walk that back and say, wait a minute. No, 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 no. I'm sure. So you, do you think some of them have seen these videos? So hold up. If that's like that out there. Why are these black guys going out there getting all this love? Why? I wonder. So all these guys are going out there, just chilling, talking, and randomly picking up a Korean woman. Like, how am I finding video after video of, of this happening? There's a reason. This is the way. Because guys realize it's definitely more to life than dealing with any woman that's not giving them any kind of love to where they find a reason why they should even talk. See you next video. Peace.
Hans Hüsskopf.